Mr. Pringle. Thank you, Lost Clan Corda. <coughs> and I'd like to concur, concur with Deputy Boyd Barrett in relation to this government's attitude and behaviour towards uh, the people of Greece and the Greek government and the negotiations with the European Union. And I mean, there's no need to go back over the, the statistics he quoted there and the Greek finance minister, uh, Varoufakis, in the Irish Times last week um, published those, those same figures, which I think shows the extent that the Greeks have to go to actually to get the message sent out, because they certainly can't rely on our parliamentarians and our government to bring back the message and to talk about what the actual real situation is in Greece and what the Greek people are facing. And it's interesting also we see when Michael Noonan stepped out of line last week in the and the Eurofund meeting when he, he complained that they were asked, actually asked to, be dis to discuss proposals that they hadn't seen and they'd been asked to have a discussion around proposals and they weren't going to be given. And so it reminds you a bit of what happens in here times um, when we're brought in to discuss legislation that we haven't actually seen and hasn't actually been published. But that's the kind of attitude that, uh, that prevails. So the finance ministers are there supposedly discussing and agreeing on the future of Greece without actually having seen any proposals and without the ability to actually discuss them in any reasonable manner. But we see that Michael Noonan quickly pulled back into line yesterday when he um, backed up his friend and his master, Schobel, and from the German finance minister by uh, berating Greece for the fact that they have to, the governing council of the ECB has to meet every day to decide on financial emergency measures for the Greeks. So I wonder, that, was Minister Noonan, did he get his knuckles wrapped for speaking out of line in the Euro, in the Euro group minister's meeting last Thursday and actually standing up and, and saying what everybody else knows is happening? So I think it's absolutely disgraceful the way we have reacted and behaved towards, towards the Greeks. And this government, I think, has shown a distinct lack of backbone and lack of solidarity and a European Union that's supposed to be built on solidarity and on people working together, that we've actually forced the, and play part of forcing the Greek people to go through what they've, they've gone through over the last five or six years. And what we should actually be doing is supporting the Greek proposals for a debt conference. And what we should be doing is supporting the Greeks and attempting to rebuild their economy and rebuild their taxation system to ensure that they can develop and, and grow and fund, and fund themselves. But that's what we should be doing, and we should be part of building that, that um, coalition to actually change the direction that the European Union has taken. And the other issue that uh, the Taoiseach outlined is going to be discussed in, um, in relation on Thursday is around the, the crisis in the Mediterranean and the crisis in relation to migration. And <clears throat> there's no doubt, and I see in the Taoiseach's contribution, what the actions that had been discussed last April and the European Union and how they're actually going to deal with it. But they're not actually dealing with it at all. What they're actually doing is just trying to plug the gaps and plug the hole to stop people getting into, getting into, the, into the European Union. I wonder, is, does there any discussion take place in relation to the, Council, the European Council meetings as to actually the policies and the actions of the European Union that have caused this crisis. We had two members of the European Union bomb the life out of Libya over the last number of years and caused the collapse entirely, entirely of, of civil society there, which has actually exacerbated this process. And the other actions of the European Union right across Africa, um, which are feeding into this crisis, we don't see any discussion taking place there of how the European Union is actually going to change and develop policies that will allow people to choose to stay in their own countries where they won't be forced through the policies of the West and to actually trying to seek to come to the West to actually better themselves. Thank you, everybody.